I finally got my books back from the Arthur Adams Signature Series CGC signing. What books did I get? What grades? And most importantly, what do those sketches look like? Hi everyone, welcome to issue 9 of Still Only 35 Cents. For this one, as I mentioned in the intro, we've got a signature series signing that Arthur Adams did over the last six months. The books are finally back in hand, so I wanted to take you through them, show you the books that I got and submitted, show you the grades that each one came out, and more importantly, the sketches that Arthur did on each of those books. Um, but before we get started, please hit that like button and comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. Um, we've got plenty more of these videos. We've also got a whole heap of videos which I'll stick links to at the end of, the, of this video for you. So just as a bit of background, uh, this signature series uh, was announced early 2023. Art was gonna be doing a number of books and on top of signing them, he was also doing remarks. So I scoured uh, a whole bunch of comic books, fairs, conventions, found a, a heap of books that I thought were contenders for high grade. So I submitted these books at Heroes Con back in 2023, uh, ready for the signing. They've been there for a while. Art finally got round to signing them in December and I got them back this week. So first up off the list is Classic X-Men number one, 1986 book. Uh, this was a reprint of Giant Size X-Men, a sort of cut down version of Giant Size X-Men with a brand new story in the back. Uh, it's a classic cover done by Art Adams. Uh, he just recently started at Marvel, so um, this is still part of his sort of early work at Marvel. It's got a great cover, as I mentioned, um, featured by him. So on this one, um, let's see, first of all, what grade we got. Now, I knew this was a high grade going in, and we got a 9-6 white pages, so I'm really happy with that grade. Um, but the, the key one here is, what sketch did we get? Um, I don't remember what I actually asked for, so it'll be interesting to see what we get in each of these. So let's kick off with the first one. And we've got a Cyclops, very well positioned. It's, I like, oh, is that X actually going into his visor? Yes, does, that looks pretty good. I like that. Um, so yeah, this is a good, a great sketch by art of uh, Cyclops on the classic X-Men. 9.6 white pages, really happy with that one. So let's have a look at the next book. So the next book is Longshot number three. This is the first appearance of Mojo. Uh, it's a book that I've got a number of already signed by art, ironically. They're sitting in around about the 9.6. So I'm trying to sort of upgrade the collection. Let's hope we get a good grade on this. Um, so let's start by revealing that. So we got a 9.8 and white pages as well. So that's great. Now, this is the first appearance of Mojo. So you can guess what sketch I went for this one. Um, it's a Mojo sketch. So let's see how Art did with that. So yes, look at that. So I really like the placement of that. That's a really good looking sketch. Um, it looks like it's in white over the top. Works quite well because he's leaning into the long shot in the middle there and sort of mixes quite well with the actual illustration on the side. So really happy with that. Mojo, I'm hearing weird rumors that Mojo is the, is the villain in Deadpool 3. Whether or not that's true, don't know, but still wanted this book. First appearance of Mojo with Mojo on the cover, remarked by Art Adams himself. Brilliant to have in the collection. So super happy again to have this book and a 9.8 as well. Brilliant, that will go well in terms of building out the CGC registry set I've got. So next up on the list is X-Men Annual 10. Now this is when Longshot first joins the team of the X-Men. It's also the first appearance of the X-Babies. So I remember now what I did for these two books. Um, I think one of them is a Longshot, because obviously that's his first appearance in the X-Men team uh, in title. So wanted to get a long shot. And then on top of that, I wanted to sort of obviously take advantage of the X-Babies. So we've got, uh, I think I asked for a Wolverine X-Baby on one of the copies. So you can see um, the X-Baby Wolverine 
on the cover already there. Uh, I think it's here. Um, so we'll see how Art did. So first of all, the grade on this one is a 9.6. White pages, again, super pleased with that. Um, I'm, yeah, 9.6. These are tough books to grade because they're oversized anyway. So, yep, good to have that. And then we have a long shot sketch. So this is the long shot one. So next one will be the Wolverine. Um, again, great placement. It's nicely tucked in in the back on the red background. Beautifully drawn, super happy, and that makes a really nice cover because I don't think Longshot is featured. Oh, yeah, he's featured on the bottom left corner uh, of the book. So uh, nice to have a sketch of Longshot on that book. Great. And another X Men Annual 10. Again, um, first appearance of the X Babies, and Longshot joins the team. So, what do we get? We got another 9.6. Again, happy with that. Let's see what Wolverine X Baby looks like. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So again, placement in the side where he put the long, the long shot on the previous book. Nice to have Wolverine X Baby on there. Uh, whether or not we see the X Babies in the MCU, we haven't even seen the X-Men yet, so it'll be great uh, if they ever do turn up. I mean, it's a pretty crazy idea. I, I would imagine if they ever do a mojo storyline you're gonna see the x-babies at some point so who knows if mojo is the villain or mojo comes later we'll we'll clearly get uh, a glimpse of the x-babies in some way shape or form so great book super happy next up not something that normally sits in my wheelhouse it's a batman 400 story behind this one is r adams did a story in here and so i wanted to get this copy so i'm trying to collect Art Adams first, um, ish, Art Adams drawn issues. And you'll see why there's a few books that are a bit more obscure by Art in here. Uh, and so getting them signed and remarked, it was, was critical in terms of the collection. This I bought from, uh, from Heroes Con, from a dealer. I was hunting for this book for the whole day. Finally found one, a really, really nice looking copy. Uh, and I think, I can't remember off, off the top of my head, I think it was around $20 for this book. Um, looked immaculate. Um, the beautiful thing about this book is you've got the same cover but Virgin um, without the trade dress obviously on the back so you get the full beauty of Bill Sienkiewicz's amazing cover on this book. Um, so first of all let's see what grade we got. Um, 9.8. So 9.8 white pages. Very happy with that grade uh, considering that was bought raw from a dealer so very very impressed with that. Uh, I did have these books clean and pressed, so that did help, obviously. But let's see what we got in terms of the sketch. So there's a great one of Batman on the cover of Batman 400. A really, really cool looking sketch. Perfect for that cover. The fact that I've still got the Bill Sienkiewicz cover on the back. It's a full display of that. And having that sketch on the front from art is brilliant. So really happy with that one. That's a great grade. So we'll see what we do with that. I'm not really a big Batman collector, but that's a great book to have. So super happy. Next up, we've got another classic X-Men. This is classic X-Men number three. This is one of the 25th anniversary covers with the frame with all the superheroes across it featuring Storm. Uh, I think this is an Art Adams cover. Yes, another Art Adams cover. He did a heap of the early classic X-Men covers. What grade did we get? Got a 9.6 white pages. You'd expect that for a book this age, but yeah, 9.6, great to have that. Again, cleaned and pressed by CGC. What sketch did we get this time? So we got a Wolverine on the side, um, looking pretty intensely at Storm there. I uh, like that. I love the way that Arts drew that and put the black on top of it. Um, really nice sketch. Great to have Wolverine and Storm on there as well, so super happy. Another one. Next up, we've got the Marvel Age Annual number four from 1988. Beautiful, great image of all the X characters featured on one cover uh, and the different groups, X-Factor, Excalibur, the X-Men, launching at the Reader. What grade did we get? We've got another 9.6. Super happy with that. 
Now, I think from memory, I think I asked for a Magneto on here because I wanted, obviously, the villain of the piece. Um, I don't think Magneto's in the main group, but wanted to add him in. So let's see. Yep, another great sketch. Um, Magneto over the trade dress there. Um, let's have a quick look. Yeah, he's used a bit of white hair as well on top, so it looks pretty cool. A bit busy, that cover. I was always wondering where he was going to get the placement, so very happy with that one. Uh, another one for the PC. Now, we talked about obscure comics that Art had done earlier. And this is one of the first. There's a, there's a three submissions here that you probably might, maybe not seen before um, that Art has done in the past. So this is Gumby's Winter Fun Special number one. Now, these are tough books to find in high grade. Um, so I'm not expecting great results with these. But I wanted him to get, I wanted to get these because obviously I'm trying to collect Art Adams art through the different books. I tried to get a, a number of these. So these are some of the more obscure ones that you probably haven't seen before. So what do we get grade wise? We've got a 9-4 on this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that grade considering, you know, I was hunting for this book. Bought this off eBay, I think. Um, so I didn't get a chance to sort of look too closely. It's been clean and pressed. So again, happy with that. But I asked him to put Gumby and Pokey on both of these. So um, there's another one coming shortly. And he did exactly that. It's a busy cover, but he's found a way of incorporating both the characters in white. So I'm not, we didn't really, I didn't get to see Gumby and Pokey at early time. So um, this is probably one for all of my US viewers. Um, this is, a, I'm, again, super happy to get this in the collection. A beautifully drawn Art Adams art throughout and then remarked on top with the main characters featured in the title. So, great book. Very happy. Then carrying on the Gumby theme, we have the second book in the series. So, this is the Summer Fun Special that Art did. And again, brilliant, beautiful wraparound cover um, with an Art Adams illustration, which is sort of very signature art. Um, beautiful sort of spread cover. Again, got this off eBay. Wasn't expecting much from the grade. White cover, always tough to grade. Um, so let's see what we got. We got a 9-2. So again, 9-2 white pages. May may look to see if I can resubmit it, see if there's anything I can fix, see what the issues are on the graders' notes. But again, super happy to have that. It's quite a rare book. Trying to dig that one out, especially in high grade. And then again, I asked for a Gumby and Pokey sketch. And he's done a number on that. Look at that. Um, really good incorporating them into the white so you've got both featured on the cover and then of course you've got the remark that art has put in as well so again another one to add to the PC brilliant early book from Art Adams uh, and a book that you know not a lot of people have seen or know about so great to have that and then to close us off we're all into our Godzillas right now um, so I've been hunting for this book and I had a copy of this which wasn't going to grade out very well. So I went scouring a Baltimore, um, sorry, Heroes Con, scouring for this book to try and find high grade copy. Um, I was very fortunate. One dealer had one, uh, and I've got their contact details. I'm going to send them through this because they were like very keen to see how the book graded out. Um, they had, they were lucky enough to just have one, um, and it just, it was the only one I'd found in the whole show. I asked every dealer for this book, found this. Um, I've got high hopes for this one. It looked immaculate when I bought it. Um, so let's see what grade we got first of all. Brilliant. So 9-8, white pages, superb. Godzilla colour special number one. Completely illustrated by our items throughout. Um, and so the obvious one is I wanted to get Godzilla on the front cover. Now, I've seen other sketches where art's oh, completely decimated the front cover itself with a with a sketch on top i get a feeling with this book he's so passionate about monsters um he i was also hunting for the creature from the black lagoon book that he did couldn't find one of those would have loved to get that included in this um signature series but this was one i was really hunting for and when i've got it now having it a 9-8 perfect addition to the collection but let's see the sketch that art was able to do with this book now look at that. That is perfect. You still you still keep the uh, integrity of the main front cover, 
But on top of that, you've got this awesome illustration of Godzilla over the top, which just beautifully complements it in my mind. Give you a sense of how much art loves Godzilla. Look, at this is this perfectly sort of back cover featuring Godzilla and the, and the um, creature or monster or statue that he fights in this book. But this is a super great way to end this on with this amazing 9.8 with this awesome Godzilla sketch on the front from art. So again, we've waited a long time for this submission, but it's finally here and I'm really, really happy with the results. I will certainly be trying to get some more Art Adam sketches over the next few months. If I can, I'm going to a few cons, hopefully he's in attendance. Um, might try and see if I can get some blank covers, but really happy with all of these books and just great additions to the personal collection. So. Hope you enjoyed these. Let me know what you think down below. These are just great books. Um, great to have art. Look at them. It did take a while, as I say, but just so happy. Um, that's it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the books down below. If you were part of that CGC Signature Series signing, let me know how you went with it. Let me know what books you got. Let me know what more marks you got. Um, I'll be posting these on the CGC boards um, and I'll also be sharing them via Instagram over the next um, week or so. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and always hit that like button and you'll see that lovely animation kick off. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you had a great show. Great to see you. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. If you like this video, don't forget to check out all our other videos that we've got on the channel. We've got an interview with Al Mulgram, we've got some comic book read-throughs including Amazing Spider-Man number one and The Incredible Hulk number one, as well as some interesting mail calls such as 2000 AD. So check them out and we'll see you soon.